Hi, my name's Kathy. I'm a librarian at the Hamilton East Public Library, and I'm also a master gardener in Hamilton County. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you might have seen the one where I talked to you about rain barrels. Now, this is one of my rain barrels. When I first installed it, um, you can see it's got a spigot here. I had a hose attached to it, and I would stand and I would water from it, which took a long time because the water doesn't come out as fast from a rain barrel as it does from your regular hose. Or I would also use it to fill my little watering can and I would water things with it. But I am not um, a person who likes to spend a lot of time doing things that could be done more easily. So last winter, I was very lucky, my husband had some time, and he designed a drip irrigation system for me. Now we bought all of our parts from um, dripdepot.com. It's not telling you to go shop there, I'm just letting you know that's a place that has lots of different options of different drip irrigation systems for you to use. Now I have like seven or eight raised beds, large raised beds, and we spent about $180 for all of the stuff that we needed for all of that. This is not just for a raised bed, you can use it in any bed. So, here's how it works. So, the water is in my rain barrel. I have this um, spigot, and I've got a hose attached to it here. Now, the hose, in order not to kink, runs around the other side of it and comes to here. This is my actual hose. That hose is attached to the faucet on the outside of my house. So if we're going through a drought, I can use my hose in order to water things if I've completely run out of water from my, um, from my rain barrel. This is how I water from my rain barrel. Now you can see there are switches on this. And um, you know if the switch is this way, the way the tube is, the water will flow through it. If the switch is that way, you know, perpendicular to that joint, it won't flow through it. So right now I've got it set for my rain barrel. And in order to water all of my gardens, all I have to do is come to my spigot and turn this. And now I'm watering. So what happens is down here, I have a large tube that goes underneath the ground and it comes up underneath this raised bed. And then there's a joint there so that it can go in two ways. I've got it going down along here and then the joint um, piece comes here under the ground and it gets over here till it gets to this garden and it keeps going as you go down the row to each one of the raised beds that's down there and at the very end of it I'm not sure if you can see there are two more rain barrels there and this piping goes all the way over to those other two rain barrels so when you start doing this what happens is you have the main tube that goes down you see the main tube and depending on what system you buy um, you get things like um, this sort of thing to hold it down into the ground this sort of stake you have um, perhaps a tool that allows you to you know cut the big hose or to actually um, poke a hole into um, into this and you can put the holes wherever you want them and then you'll have a supply of tubing and the tubing will be um, inserted into this using some of various tools. Now I don't need to show you all of the particulars of this because as I said, every system is different. But basically, once you get it set up, you'll have your main tube and then all of these little drip lines will come out of it, however frequently you want them to come out. Now, if you have it set up before you plant, you're going to plant your plants along where you have those different drip lines. And the plants itself the roots will move toward where it's sensing that water. Now, when you water from overhead, like with a sprinkler, you're wasting a lot, right? There's a lot of water just watering the grass and the area around it, and there's a lot going actually on the leaves. You don't want that water on the leaves um, because it can you know, start to grow fungus and things like that. So keeping that water right in the ground where the roots are is a very um, water-saving way and healthy way of watering your plants. Now, you can get really fancy with this. Um, this irrigation system, since I only had space for one rain barrel in the first spot, and I have two down the line, I actually have one of these things over here that lets me um, turn this on or off. So if I run out of water in one, I can flip the switch and the water will flow from the other direction. Um, I'm really enjoying this. It is the easiest thing in the world to water this way. We're lucky in Indiana, we get plenty of rain, so um, I use up my rain barrel and then it seems to rain again. Um, but in times of drought, it's nice to have it hooked up to your actual outdoor faucet. So, 
hopefully this will inspire you guys to create a dip irrigation system. If you do, send me an email, you know, write to us on our social media. Tell me what you did, show some pictures. I'd love to see what other people's gardens look like. Um, that's all I have for you today. So happy gardening.